Per our YouTube instructions, we arrived promptly at two o'clock at Marina Green Park, only to discover that things have been delayed till three o'clock. And then Caleb's telling us here till four o'clock. But that's okay, because we made lots of friends. It was really a cool opportunity to meet new people. Oh no, <laughs> robot down. <laughs> So is that aluminum? <laughs> that is incredible. The clouds are starting to roll in, but it's okay. We're in this idealistic setting. If you squint way in the background, you can see the Golden Gate. Across the way here is uh, Alcatraz. It's about a mile or a mile and a half away. And we're right here in the park. Are you here for the I know, I was waiting and then I heard some guy randomly talking about just it. I tell you what, there's nothing like building up the anticipation, right? Yeah. At this point, Caleb asked us to kind of be human cones, to stand in a spot so that when Will arrives at that he has a place to park the Gundam. But I'm so fixated on Will coming in that I don't, like everyone else has moved out of the way and I haven't vacated my spot. So when they arrived, they must be like, oh God, cringe. They must have thought, who's this dumbass? He's not moving out of the way, honk, honk. I'm thinking they're honking because like, like, hey everyone, we're here, but I'm sure it was me. <laughs> I turn around, I'm the only one standing there. I'm totally in the way. <laughs> when they first arrived, they started getting the Gundam ready, unbolting it, kind of getting things set up. They had just had a really rough trip out. I heard that a part of the uh, Gundam had, had broken away during the trip out. They were running late because they were trying to repair that. So they're probably pretty stressed out. The skies are getting gloomy and the wind is picking up and he's got to get the antennas on top. And so with everyone watching, he's kind of getting organized there, but he has to ninja warrior himself up there on top. He gets it done. It's pretty good. I love Kevin. He's like the first to go out while Will's setting up. He's he's out there entertaining the crowd. And then this awesome paint job was actually just a giant mistake. You know, we, we like cleaned the metal, but we didn't clean it good enough, so we just sprayed like the yellow paint on there. And then there was some foil, so it bled out and made a cool like bold rust. While Kevin was speaking, Will was on the inside trying to get the mechanism working. But now you're probably thinking, I wonder if they have a permit for all this. You and the police both. So this is Paul. He's probably the best person to talk to the police. He's not official, he's just an audience member, but he's got this cool, calm demeanor. Police pull up and they're like, what's going on here? He says, ah, it's, it's nothing. He says, it's a YouTuber meet and greet. And they go, oh, is it a big YouTuber? You know, you're worried that they're gonna bust up the thing if there's too big of a crowd. And he goes, ah, no, 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 they're small. Thing. It's it's a, it's for the kids. It's for STEM, <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, okay, great." Just wanted to know. Please visit No. 
Oh my god, it's cameraman John. Help me. And it was right after this that William took the stage. Be Willie, I'm broke! He went through one by one and interviewed everybody, every robot. Um, I know next weekend at Open Sauce we're not going to get much time with him, but this weekend he made it all about us. It was it was really nice. I think everyone appreciated it, except for maybe this guy. If you want to know who won, you have to go to his channel. Whoa, Becker Scientist! That's you! Yeah! <laughs> I could try, yeah, maybe on the blue one. Here, throw it up here. Oh, that is really cool. Basically anything. Except the wood. The wood, it like, it does it, it like, disperses in wood instead of burning it. Yeah. Just in case. Oh. That should be. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, it did. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah. Like a little, oh, that's crazy. Ooh. Where's this go forward? Okay, I want to do, I want to do my walk one of them. I wasn't sure. Okay, okay. I want to see that. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. That looked good. Wow. Wow. Open Sauce awesome. Robot Competition 2025. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, you know, Dude. I don't, yeah, sure, let's try it. <laughs> Hitting the mute button on the conversation here because he reveals something that I think he's prob probably going to want to say for a future episode. It's, uh, it has to do with farming, we'll put it that way. But you want to hear the craziest thing? Despite the fact that he's so approachable, you can see that here, I didn't once go up and talk to him. I don't know what, I was just like starstruck or, I don't know, too shy. Uh, if I had the chance, though, if I, if I could have said to him uh, what he means to me, the 
fact that all those years ago my son said, hey, you got to check this guy out. That was the x-ray episode. He went off of YouTube for a year after that. But when he came back with open source, as I sat there in the audience, I, I ordered my very first 3D printer. Since then, I've built multiple robots, started coding. I have my own YouTube channel. I've gone so far just in a few years. And that means a lot. So thank you, William Osman.